A Volusia County family is in a legal battle with Warner Christian Academy over a sex abuse scandal stemming from three years ago. Yeah, they told us their son was one of several abused by a former teacher. And for the first time, investigative reporter Darlene Jones is speaking with a frustrated family that can't get closure in their civil case. Matthew Graziotti will never live his life outside of prison, but just the thought of his name brings back so many painful memories for this father, only mentioned as James Doe in this oh, civil lawsuit. So for the first time in three years, he's only talking to nine investigates, trying to shine Matt a light Grazio. on the disturbing act of sex abuse against um, children. I know the one headshot picture that they showed of my child, it was on Matt's couch, by the couch. The family is suing Edgewater Alliance Church and among several also suing Warner Christian Academy. Graziotti, a former teacher, camp counselor and youth minister, was sentenced to 250 years in prison for creating and sharing child pornography. More than a year later, the family's civil claim against the church and school haven't been settled. I'm kind of, I'm trying to use the right word, ticked off that nobody in school or the church did certain things to assure the safety of my child. An attorney for the South Daytona Private School just filed this response to the lawsuit denying a majority of the claims and the response from the church in part places blame on the child and his parents saying they assumed the risk of what they called a proven to be dangerous condition. Attempts to clarify this defense with the church attorney were unsuccessful, but the family's lawyer argues the school failed to check Graziotti's background. They didn't check his entire history. Warner Christian explains in that legal response it conducted an adequate pre and employment investigation, but it's unclear if that included calling previous employers, one of which asked him to leave his position as a youth minister because his conduct with children went beyond normal parameters. Edgewater police even started an investigation of possible inappropriate conduct with children, but Graziotti was never arrested. You know, somebody has to be held accountable. For the church marketing and development director also did not respond to our questions. Court records show that at least two other civil cases against the church and school have been settled. There are others still making their way through the court system. Reporting from the studio, Darlene Jones, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.